Okay, so we're looking at questions on the homework from section 3.2. This is question number 10. The probability that a person in the United States has type B positive blood is 13%. Five unrelated people in the United States are selected at random. Complete parts A through D. A, find the probability that all five have type B positive blood. Find the probability that none of the five have type B positive blood. Find the probability that at least one of the five has type B positive blood. And part D, which of the events can be considered unusual? Explain, select all that apply. All right, so we'll look at part A. Find the probability that all five have type B positive blood. So we did a question in the notes about a cashier making mistakes, and this is very much like that. We're gonna look at each one of the people as a slot to be filled in. We have the first person, second person, third person, fourth person, fifth person. Since they're unrelated, the probability for each one to have B positive blood would be 0.13, which is 13%. So we fill in these 0.13s for each person. And then by the multiplication rule, we multiply them all together. And when we do that, we get a very small decimal, 0.00037123. The question asks to round to six decimal places which is point zero 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 three seven. So that's your answer to part A. In part B, we're looking for the probability that none of them have type B positive blood. So again, just like it, it in part A, where we have slots to fill in, five slots, if the probability that somebody has type B positive blood is 0.13, then the probability that they don't have B positive blood is 0.87. So this is just going to be 0.87 filled in in all of these slots. We multiply those together and we get 0.49842092207. Rounded to three decimal places is 0.498. So this is your answer to part B. In part C, we're looking for the probability that at least one has type B positive blood. Now this is a complement. Okay. When you look at at least one, that's the complement of none. So at least one having B positive blood is the complement of none having B positive blood. And we've already computed the probability that none have B positive blood. We did that in part B. So this probability of at least one having the B positive blood would be one minus the probability of none having B positive blood, which is one minus the 0 0.49842092207, which is 0 0.50157907793, rounded to three decimals is 0 0.0502. So that's your answer for part C. Now in part D, we're being asked, are any of these unusual? So our criteria for deciding if something is unusual or not is whether or not the probability is less than or equal to 0.05, which is 5%. When we look at all three of these probabilities, B and C were far larger than 0.05, but the one in part A was only 0 0.000037, which is way less than 0.05. So that makes it unusual. So our correct answer here for part D is option B, which says the event in part A is unusual because its probability is less than or equal to 0.05. And that's number 10.